Recently I had a conversation with um, a male friend who um, I was discussing my career with him. Um, and so my role, head of finance, I'm 27 years old, female working in Rudian Financial Group. It's not a small business, it's a pretty cool business. And we were discussing, and this person I assumed was my friend, he is my friend, I actually adore him. <laughs> um, just slight like little comment off the side of his word saying, well you being female helps. And he just said it. And then like for me, I, my mind just was fixated on this stupid little comment. I was like, well, wait, how did it help? It's like, oh, you know, like in this day and age, females are getting everything now because of equality. And I was like, well, the definition of equality is not females above men. Um, he's like, no, you don't understand. Like if there's a male and a female, the female will always be picked now because of equality. And just that thought, the thought that he had in his head didn't like infuriate me is not probably the right word. But as soon as I started pressing for kind of some support of that position, there is not a lot. And there wasn't, and to be fair to him, he was completely open-minded in all of our discussions and everything I had to say, and think he completely understood why saying something like that can be so detrimental. But what frustrates me is that that's a part of societal norm. There's so many people that take that like a grain of salt and don't actually think it through. And for someone like me, I went home later that night and I remember eating dinner and I was thinking, what are the actual chances that the reason I'm head of finance at this firm is because I'm a woman? What if, because I'm blissfully ignorant, that since the beginning, these guys only hired me because I'm a woman? Because I hadn't even thought of it. For me, it was always just, I'm good, they want me. And so I was sitting there, I'm like, oh my God, maybe I'm not that smart. Maybe I'm not great, like maybe he's right. And then once I clicked out of being an idiot, I was like, you know what, I'm good. I know what I'm doing. And the best part about this is, I had this whole conversation with Glenn a couple of days later where I brought this up. And for the first time, I was just like, did you hire me because I was a woman? And he, he laughed. He was just like, name any, any other person that could do your job as well as you. So me talking to Glenn, I, I, I was able to get that confidence back. But the infuriating part that will continue to stay with me is that I know that a lot of other women have probably heard that, whether it be at like a lunchroom, the water cooler conversations. And that comment sticks in your brain. It's sticked in mine, it's stuck in mine. Um, and I was able, thanks to the support of the CEO of this firm, of any other man that I work for and all the amazing women I work for, but there's a lot of other women there that aren't that lucky and don't have that much confidence and self-assurance. And I just see it as a self-fulfilling prophecy that suddenly their confidence is starting to just be chipped away and they become exactly what you know their male counterpart will accuse them of as non-risk takers not confident enough and it's just frustrating how that little cycle just goes around but no one really notices it